Hamster Nights, written by Danny and voiced by Jessica. In the kingdom of Hamville there lived a brave and noble group of Hamster Nights. They resided in a grand castle perched atop a hill overlooking the lush green fields and sparkling rivers of their land. The Hamster Knights were known throughout the kingdom for their courage, loyalty and their unwavering dedication to protecting the citizens of Hamville. One day, a great distress call echoed through the kingdom. The Princess of Hamville, Princess Eleanor, had been kidnapped by a band of evil beetles. Help! Please, help me! cried Eleanor. The entire kingdom was in a state of panic and the king knew that he had to act fast or face losing his daughter forever. He called upon his most trusted knights to embark on a quest to rescue the princess and bring her back safely to him in the castle. The knights, led by brave Sir Hammeron, immediately sprang into action. They armed themselves with their trusty swords and shields and set off on their journey. We ride at dawn, said Sir Hammeron. Encouraging words were all the brave team needed. As dawn fell, they rode their horses through the winding forests. They encountered various obstacles and challenges along their journey, but they never faltered. They were determined to bring Princess Eleanor home. After days of travelling, the knights finally arrived at the Beatles' castle. It was a formidable structure, surrounded by high walls and guarded by fierce beetle warriors. But the Hamster Knights were not intimidated. They devised a plan to sneak into the castle and rescue the princess under the cover of darkness. As soon as the sky was blackened by the night, with only the twilight of stars to light their path, they made their way inside the castle. They encountered many traps and obstacles. Sir Hammeron almost fell down a trap door designed to trap anyone who enters the castle but with his quick thinking he managed to wedge his foot in the door and climb out. They used their wit and bravery to overcome all challenges. Finally they reached the tower where Princess Eleanor was being held captive. The Beetle King and Queen were there, gloating over their prize. Such a shame that a beauty like you will never see daylight again said the evil Beetle Queen. Without hesitation, Sir Hammeron and his knights smashed through the doors and engaged in a fierce battle with the Beetles. They fought with all their might, using their expert swordsmanship and agility to defeat their enemies. And in the end, they emerged victorious and freed the Princess Eleanor from her chains. The princess leapt into Sir Hammeron's arms and was overjoyed to see the brave knights. She thanked them profusely for their bravery. Oh, Sir Hammeron, I will be forever in your debt, cried Eleanor. With the help of the knights, Princess Eleanor was able to escape the castle and return safely to her home in Hamville. The entire kingdom celebrated the return of their beloved princess and howled the Hamster Knights as heroes. The king held a ceremony for the brave knights and they were all given special medals for their courage and bravery. From that day on, the Hamster Knights were even more revered and respected throughout the kingdom. They had proven once again that they were not just ordinary hamsters, but true knights in every sense of the word. And as for the evil beetles, they were banished from the kingdom forever, never to cause harm to anyone again. The kingdom of Hamville was now at peace, 
thanks to the bravery and determination of the Hampstonites. And Princess Eleanor was forever grateful to her loyal knights for risking their lives to save her. The End